company this. Now, shading the bounds is when you come into my screen, is when you have a swing like this in the market. So once you have a swing like this, let's say this goes up, this comes down, this goes up, this comes down, this goes up. Now, sir, what we are saying is that if, for instance, you have you, you put your, your, your trend lines here, let's say you put your lines here. Now, while you put these lines, one important thing you must always note about support and resistance is that support and resistance will always have two major swings. In fact, let me first tell you what is the resistance. The resistance is the upper bar you draw here. It's the resistance. The resistance is the upper bar you draw here. While the support is the lower bar you draw. So, you must always welcome back, Mr. Bright. I'm so sorry. Let's talk to me. Ah, the man has made that. So, you must always note all these resistance and support. So, at this place, there are two major swings. This is swing one. This swing two. This swing one. This swing two. Now, Having your swing one and your swing two. Having your swing one and your swing two, I can come here and call this one. I can call this two. I can call this one. I can call this two. Now listen carefully, class. If you don't have a complete situation like this, whereby you have swing one and one, two, Say one and two. You cannot make a decision under this topic called trading the bounce. What exactly is trading the bounce? When the market hits resistance, it comes here, it hits here, it goes up, it hits here, it comes here, it hits here. So the process whereby the forex trader will be taking opportunity of this going up and down. That is what they call trading. The bounce. So in that way, so what is the next thing to do? The next thing to do is you must be very observant of how you can go about this. You must be very, very observant of how you can go about this. The best way to go about this is since you have noted one and two, one and two. They are lots. The spot whereby it, it now comes hits here, it starts coming down. Immediately after this two, it hits here, it starts coming down. Just give it a difference of probably 20 pips. Don't worry, pips are not of all these things. I'll break them down for you in the advanced class. Give it a difference of 20 pips. You can enter this market as a step. So if you enter this market as a step, let's say this market goes down, you can target like 20 pips there. You take this profit and you leave. So after you have gotten like 20 pips from here to here, let's say it sits here again, the market starts looking like it's going up. Yes, somebody might ask, Mr. Gosprown, what if there's a retracement? What is a retracement? Let's say as the market is fine, and sellers they come into the market. Once the sellers come into the market and there is a buy situation again, uh, that's a short way of entering this market as a buy. Are you? So when you enter this market again as a buy, you can go up and target this market for what? For maybe 20 pips. So once you target under 20 pips, that's a very great opportunity for you. You can see you have made your money in two ways. And the ways are trading the pounds, which is the down, and the other one is the what going up. So that is that for trading the pounds. For the man that just came in, I said there are two ways of trading support and resistance: trading the bounce and trading the breakout. This is the explanation for trading the pounds.
when you trade within the resistance line and the support line. What, what about trading the breakout? Don't worry, I'll show you practical. I'll do practicals for you. What about trading the breakout? Trading the breakout is the sweetest of all. Let me explain. Let's say you are in a trade. Or let's say the market was ranging. When, there's a, when the market is ranging, there is a pullback. There is a up and down movement. Right? Let's say the market goes up, touches it, touches down, touches up, it touches the support. Remember, this is the resistance. This is support. It goes up again. It goes up again. Let's say it touches it. So once it goes up, now, immediately it comes up, then let's say this is touch one. Touch two. Let's say this is touch one. Touch two. So when the market goes up, and it breaks from here the resistance. Really, it breaks from the resistance. You know, this is the comp completion of touch two. Now, if the market goes up and breaks from the resistance, <laughs> class, this is a serious buy. This market can buy for long. So you don't even need the retracement. Once the market comes here and hits here, from here, measure it 20 pips here. I'll show you this things, don't worry. So this 20 pips is an indication that the market is going on a buy. You can even claim like 50 pips. I both be telling this tonight. You can claim 50 pips from this market. What is 50 pips? Let's say you are trading with um, a lot size of 0 0.02. So if you are trading with a lot size of 0 0.02, it means that let's say the value you have for that entry point is 1.24. 162. If you add the 50 pips to this, this, this is what it is. At the bottom, this will be 1.24662. Can you see? 1.24662. So you can boldly trade 50 pips there. On a 0 0.02 box, like $100, 50 pips, $10. On a 0 0.04, 50 pips is what? That's $20. $20 times 1,200, that's meant 4,000 in a move. I, so once it goes up, then you, you've made that one that is. But class, what if this situation comes? Whereby the trade goes up, it goes up, then it looked like it wanted to go up. Then later, the trade now decided to go down and broke through the support. Now listen carefully. If the trade goes up and breaks through the support and starts going down, what do you do? Come here and successfully measure another 20 pips. I boldly tell you, class, you can enter this market as a sell. And you can even claim a 50 pips in this situation. Are you with me? You can even claim what? A 50 pips in this situation. So it means that this market, you have successfully claimed 50 pips in this market. So that's the advantage of breakouts. Now, there could also be a situation whereby, whereby the market goes up, and this year, after you've won, the market can come and break here, I'm talking about breakouts here. Instead of it going down, the market now decides to go and break again from the resistance. Once the market breaks again from the resistance, don't fail to take the opportunities there. Move up. Once you move up, claim another one. After I measure 20 pips from here to that place, then claim another 50 pips here. It's very key. You can earn as much as possible from one currency pair. 
I don't know what people are looking in Sokoto when you see, there's a way they say that part. They are, you, you see people trading for that place in debt. People trading BB pairs that can hold their accounts. With common forex pairs, you can be trading your twenty twenty dollars in GPP USD and you are living large. You are living well. You multiply 24 times 5, that's 120. 120 times 4, or times 5 times, you know, that should be so massive. But that's only 600. With that account. So it is very, very possible to make such profits if you are observant. I repeat, if you are observant. So let me now go to my chart. Coming to my chart, this is my support and resistance. This was the support and resistance. I drew while I was making my analysis within the week. You are going to see the screen right now. So while I was making this support and resistance analysis, I, I only made analysis on my laptop. So I was now using my phone to do trading work. So I discovered that when I drew the lines on the support and resistance, I discovered that at the end of the day, it worked for me as expected. And I, I later discovered that at the end of the day, it worked for me as expected. Now, this was a chart. This is what they call trading view. I told you what trading view is two days ago. This is exactly what they call trading view. The still the, the lines are so shown. There were some lines I drew on GPP USD. And those lines I drew on GPP USD, they are exactly the pairs which you see. Can you see this is the first line appearing? The other lines are so common. And so these are the lines. Now, class, let's pay very good attention to what I just said. Previously, if you remember very well, I said, hello, please, if you can hear me, can you just say hi? If you can hear me, can you just say hi? Hi. Um, okay, thank you. That's Mr. Bright, right? Okay. Mr. Imani. Okay, Mr. Imani, thank you. Mr. Bright, can you hear me? Can you just say hi, please? Now look at it on my chart. This is part one, part two. This was the analysis I made. This is part one, part sorry. This was part one, part two, part one, part two. Now listen. Immediately it touched this line. This line, the, the the bias went up. In fact, from this place, you could have made a profit from here to this place. Look at it now. Don't worry, I'll teach you more on trading view in the advanced class. If you look at what, you will see something like 35. 35 means that that is 35 pips. You can see you got that 35 from the two bars. Are you seeing it? You can see two bars, two hours. Are you with me? Now, that shows that if, if, if you have that, can you see, it took two hours to achieve that. And this is the percentage of that piece, 20, 0.28%. Now, there was a retracement. What's a retracement? A pullback, as if there was a sell. But this sell did not 